Once you level up Eve to level 10, you'll have her final friendship quest. To start the quest, talk to Eve. You suggest that Stitch would have some good ideas for what she can do. And this kicks off her level 10 quest, When Things Go Boom. Find Stitch and talk to him. He'll be somewhere around Eternity Isle. You find out that Stitch has gotten his hands on Recipe for Fireworks. He shares it with you as well as one of the ingredients. And then you have to gather the rest of the ingredients. It says that you're going to need cinnamon, electric eels, and dream like cobra lily extract. You probably already have the first two, but if you don't, you'll have to find those around Eternity Isle. You'll find both cinnamon and electric eels in the wild tangle. And then you'll have to head over to Eve's house and go up to the plant that she has on the table and that will give you the dreamlike cobra lily extract. Be sure to use the recipe that you have in your pocket so that you know how to make the fireworks. And then go to a cooking station, go to the quest tab in your recipe book and cook the experimental fireworks. After you cook the experimental fireworks, you give them to Eve and have her find a safe place to test them. Follow her there and talk to her so she can set off the fireworks. And when she does, everything goes fine, except for she sets you on fire. Use your watering can to put out the fires. And talk to Eve again. Then you'll go talk to Stitch again. She says that he's going to go talk to Merlin about a safer way to do the fireworks. But in the meantime, he wants you to use your hourglass to find three socks around Eternity Isle. He says these are part of his collection, ones that he had put around Eternity Isle a long time ago, and you'll find one sock in each of the major biomes. There are a number of places that these could be. Here's where I found mine. The first one I found was in that upper balcony on the ruins. So if you go to the overlook, head up the stairs, through the hallway, up the stairs again, and out on that balcony, I found it over here. Others have found it in the area next to the house. In the Glittering Dunes, I found mine in the Borderlands, near the default well location, just at the corner by the little quicksands waterfall. Others have found this sock in the Oasis. And then my final one, it was right next to the well location near the water in the lagoon. Someone else reported that they found it in the very first area of the wild tangle. So we don't know how widespread these are, if those are the only locations that feels unlikely, or if they could be anywhere for anyone. But it does seem like there's going to be one saw in each of the three major areas. Once you have those return to Stitch, in exchange for the socks, he says that safer fireworks are going to need a combination of dream shards and red pitcher plants. The red pitcher plants you'll find around the wild tangle and the dream shards you'll have to head back to Dreamlight Valley. Hopefully you have some already in storage. These are the pink crystals that you dig up from the ground. Once you have those ingredients, give them to Eve. And then the next part of the quest is to find somewhere on Eternity Isle to decorate with cute rugs, chairs, and decorations. Specifically, you're going to need three rugs, six chairs, and four decorations. When you open up the furniture menu, you'll have three different quest items here. When you click on them, it'll show you all the items you have that qualify. So set up the furniture. Once you do, talk to Eve again. She will give you the fireworks display. If you want to be able to see the fireworks really well, you can change the time of day so that it's dark in game. And then set up your fireworks display somewhere nearby. After you do, a bunch of the characters are going to join you and there'll be a fireworks display. After you take your picture, go and talk to Eve again, and this will complete the quest. Eve's level 10 reward is the Retrotastic Jacket and the Retrotastic Mini Dress. Hopefully this helps you with this level 10 friendship quest. If you want to see it in real time, we did live stream this quest and Rapunzel's level 10 quest in a live stream on the channel. 